Hello, students. It's almost time. Uh, for today's session is more on writing a business plan, which is uh, actually related to your assignment question. Okay, so we can start now. So this uh, this uh, slides I took from your ebook, uh, one of the ebooks, which is uh, by Berger and Island. Okay, so this uh, open slides is all from that book. Okay. So, firstly, the first slide uh, shows you uh, what is a businessman. So, actually, what is a businessman? A businessman is a written narrative, uh, it means a written description of um, what your new business plans to accomplish. Okay, that's the purpose of the business plan. So the business plan is a write-up that describes your, your new business venture and how it in, intends to succeed. Okay, that's a, uh, what the business plan is by definition. So the second thing is that the business plan can be used by the inside and the outside firm of the firm. Inside means the, the employees can read the business plan and they know what the, what is the business all about. And for the outsiders, it can be the people from bank. If you ask, uh, we, are, we are looking for loans from the bank, then can, uh, be, uh, you are wanting, to, wanting some investors to invest in your business, then they also can read your business plan. Then they have an idea what you, your business is all about. Okay? So that's the purpose of the business plan. So again, uh, um, because uh, what I mean, two primary audiences are actually the same. So we are talking about a uh, firm, uh, the employees, and also the investors. You know, because we, because the employees, because uh, they'll understand what uh, what is the whole business about. So then they will uh, they will contribute to your business. Then for the investors, they know exactly what business are you going into. Then they were if you if they read your business plan, business plan, they know uh, how you intend to operate your business. Then if you're they are satisfied, they'll invest in your company. Okay, that's the purpose also of for the business plan. So, so there's uh, you must follow a structure, no? business plan structure. That's why in your assignment question, I uh, asked you to follow the business plan structure because if that's a Business plan is a system, systematic approach. Yeah, that means they must follow the structure. Okay? So the, the, to make a best impression uh, uh, of a business plan, should follow the conventional structure. Because uh, I have uh, shown you some structure in the assignment question. So it's uh, advisable for you all to follow uh, that structure. Because if some certain people, uh, trying to try to become creative. The second uh, second uh, point, they said uh, there are some people, uh, some uh, entrepreneurs try to be uh, creative, but then uh, sometimes the the conventional uh, structure of the business plan is set there. It's set. If you try to alter, maybe some you might miss out some important uh, information about your business. That's why it, it becomes a mistake. So it's best, best uh, to follow the conventional uh, structure of the business plan. Okay. So typically, investors are busy people and want a plan where they can easily find out the critical information. Actually, uh, but in other words, the business uh, plan actually demonstrates uh, the critical information of your business. So... <clears throat> The outline, because the outline of the business plan, I'll, I'll be showing in the next slide. <clears throat> Firstly, we must start with the executive summary. So, what what is a executive summary? It's a short overview of the entire business plan. So, actually, it's a, sometimes they call it a snapshot of your business plan. Okay. So, but what happens, uh, you because uh, before reading your business plan. Um, once you start reading the exercise, you, you actually understand the content of your business plan. 
So that's the importance of a exegesis summary. It provides a reader with everything that needs to be known about a new venture. Okay. And then and the exit summary shouldn't exceed. I mean, actually, what, what it means is uh, you shouldn't, shouldn't exceed more than one page. You know, try to summarize all the facts in one page. That's uh, but that's I uh, ideal. Some some uh, but actually uh, basically uh, either one basically uh, it's advisable to uh, structure your executive summary in one page. Okay, it's not uh, advisable to for the executive summary to be lengthy. Okay, so try to summarize all the facts in one page. And uh, another word uh, about the exit summary, it should be all in your own words. Okay? Because sometimes I see uh, some people write exit summary, they try to uh, cite, you know, when they put citation, you know, that means uh, you're picking out information from uh, some somewhere. Okay? So it's not advisable. So they actually, the exit summary is your own, uh, own summary of your uh, business plan, okay? your own words. Then, then uh, secondly, uh, actually, uh, in your in your assignment question, I ask you to do the introduction, and I ask you to describe the the organization as well as product and services. Okay, so actually, uh, then actually, uh, this is part of the introduction. Okay, so you can actually uh, uh, also talk about the industry and business. Uh, then this section should begin with the Describe with the with, by describing the industry, uh, the business venture will enter in terms of size, growth rate, and sales projection. Actually, it's not the uh, for your uh, for your assignment question. Uh, it's not really important to mention about the growth rate and all. So actually, you must actually, if possible, uh, try to explain about the industry that you are going into. Okay. So then, then, then you can start. Actually, uh, then you can you can start uh, about the uh, describing your company and also the products and services. And then, then, uh, then, then the company description. Okay, let me say it's an introduction to your company. Okay, this section begins with the general information, a uh, general description of the company or the new venture. So what should is the content in the uh, description of the company? Yeah, it, it involves, I mean, because actually sometimes uh, it's not necessary to put all this. Uh, this this uh, few items is just a I mean sample. Uh, it don't it's may not uh, follow uh, directly. Okay? So basically, uh, you must describe the company. What is the uh, what is the company's uh, business? Then, then also describe your products and services, and sometimes uh, the typical size of the vector. Okay, that's that's all. And then uh, if you, you also can, if you have the information, then you can also talk about the ownership. Maybe yeah, uh, it's a sole proprietorship or either either sole uh, sole proprietorship or maybe a partnership. Okay. Then then uh, actually uh, it follows a. Uh, the, the structure I gave you, and then you have to do the market analysis. So what, why, why did you, do we have to do the market analysis? The market analysis break down, breaks down, breaks the industry into segments and zeros in on the specific segment. Okay, so that's that's important. So you know, actually, once we did your business plan, we can understand who are you targeting. In, uh, in terms of, of your business. Okay? So uh, the, the information that you can put in is maybe uh, uh, describing the market, uh, target market, and also the uh, buyer behavior, as well as the competitor, 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 competitor analysis. Okay? Uh, this is some example. So you know, you know what to put in the market analysis. Then uh, this one, this section, uh, this uh, the economics uh, of business. Okay, so this one actually 
sometimes it's sometimes sir, it's not necessarily put in in every uh, business plan. But then, if you you know you have the information, then you can also uh, write on how you intend to ensure that your business will be successful. Okay. So in this section addresses the basic logic of how profits are earned in the business and how many units of business profits must be sold in order to, to break even and start making profits. Okay. So if you have, you have the information, then your, you, you can also write uh, this section. Okay. If you don't have the information, it's uh, okay. Just follow what is given in your assignment question. So whatever is needed, then you just uh, get the information and write on that. Then uh, the marketing plan. That's uh, this is quite important because you, know, you must uh, expect by using the marketing plan. The marketing plan actually focuses on how the business will market and sell its product or services. So actually. This is a very important uh, description in terms of your business plan. So the in terms of product marketing, yeah, it should be the four piece. Huh? The product you must describe what is the product. Okay, then then also then you also must uh, describe the price. So what is the selling price of your uh, product or services? Then you also must describe how are you going to. Um, Promote your product. Then next is actually the place. Huh? That means actually the location or the distribution. Okay, so that that four, the four piece huh, must be described in your business plan. So from there, people will understand how you intend to uh, distribute your product to the customers. Okay, then if if you have additional information, you also can talk about the sales uh, sales. How do you intend to make the sales? So design and development plan. So this one is uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe your product is not uh, ready. Uh, you you're not uh, really uh, going to design a new product or develop a new product. If you have the information, you can write on it. But then uh, if you do not have the information, the whatever I mean whatever the assignment question ask you, then as long as you approve fulfill the requirements of the design question is sufficient. Okay. So if uh, actually this uh, section is talking uh, about uh, if you are developing a completely new product or service, you need to include this section in your business plan that focuses on the status of the development efforts. Uh, so what stage are you in terms of the development of the new product? Okay. So it's not necessary to uh, really include all the sections that's given in the uh, this uh, PowerPoint presentation. So just uh, if you have the information, uh, by all means. But then, if you do not have so much so much of information, then just follow what is asked in the assignment question. Then uh, this uh, this is asked in the assignment question, the operational operational plan or operations plan. Okay. So what is the operations plan? It outlines uh, the how your business will be run, and how you your products and services will be produced. Okay, so this uh, actually that's uh, part of it. Then a uh, useful way to illustrate how a business will be run is to describe the backstage and front stage. Uh, this this one, the uh, I give you the example of the uh, restaurant. They have uh, because uh, the ex uh, restaurant. They have a uh, both product and also uh, service. Right? So, so in terms of, in terms of uh, product, uh, it's a uh, the kitchen. Kitchen is where the manufacturing part is that is. Okay? So manufacturing is done in the kitchen because they prepare your food. Uh, then the after that after you they prepare the food in the kitchen, then you have to uh, must serve the uh, customers. And the service of the uh, to the customers is uh, more on the uh, services uh, services side. Okay, 
there's a means uh, this uh, restaurant business it, it has the product and also the service uh, so the product is actually the back back room that means a uh, kitchen then after you have uh, you have uh, already already uh, finished your product and this uh, whatever uh, food that you have already prepared then after that uh, you have to uh, then it becomes a service uh, so you must do the customer service okay so the items that can be included in the, this section is a general approach to operations it's best uh, because, because i recommend that uh, for the operations plan if uh, if possible try to include uh, the uh, approach chart okay how do you show how uh, because when uh, when you put there a flow chart then you can describe the project how do you uh, do you intend to operate your business then uh, just talk about maybe uh, you can describe the flow chart that is that it's all be talking about the business plan and also you also can talk about the business location and then also facilities and equipment so the management team and the company structure so actually uh, the company structure is actually in the simon question ask you to uh, draw up uh, uh, an organization chart okay. so, so that 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 is a uh, that's the most important part of a uh, uh, business so you must firstly try to uh, try to design the organization structure because uh, from the organization structure we know how your your business is being operated okay then also uh, in the same as same question you asked to uh, describe the key key character uh, i mean key uh, key personnel key, key personnel on in the in your organization and how what are their contributions so this is part of your assignment so trying to uh, basically follow what is uh, required for your assignment then just elaborate whatever information that is needed okay this is uh, just additional information for your uh, for you to refer to and also you have uh, the book ebook in your portal then uh, you can also refer in the ebook also they have uh, all uh, all the information what, what is the outline of your business plan and what to include in, in every part of your or every section of the business plan so then this one yeah if you if uh, you you need you want to uh, have this it's actually not necessary for your assignment but then this is actually part of the system but if you need if you have the information that uh, how do you want to launch your business then you can write on that okay so this is uh, actually it can be included in your discipline but not not it's optional optional okay so if you don't have the information uh, it's okay if you don't have you don't have to put in there just follow what is asked uh, in your assignment question okay so actually i uh, just go through what is the overall schedule so it's a, a schedule is a schedule should be prepared that shows the major events required to launch the business okay so let's say yeah uh, you have uh, maybe be yeah uh, you creative then you want to get somebody to launch your business then by, by all means okay the the schedule should be in the format of uh, milestones and critical to the business success okay examples of, of milestone is incorporating your business venture the completion of the prototype uh, if you're making a new product then uh, rental of facilities uh, how when you going to start renting your location of facilities and also how when how do you when do you uh, want to ensure that you get the financing for the business and when do you want to start the production and when do you estimate that you can get the first sale this is all uh, some uh, some ideas so if you need to, if you want to be creative then by all means but make sure that, that uh, 
it is consistent and it's logical. Okay, the most important thing about a business plan is uh, it should be logical. So always, uh, whenever you write anything, uh, not only the business plan, any assignment, so you must make sure that uh, the flow is logical. Uh, that means uh, you must put, put yourself in play, in the shoes uh, of the reader. So if you are the reader, after you have uh, drafted your business plan or any assignment, you must read. Once you read, then, uh, then, then you take the role of the reader. Then Because uh, you're going to uh, submit this plan, uh, business plan to uh, maybe the investors. You know, the investor, uh, if he reads uh, the business plan, then they, he might have many questions. So when you read yourself, then you also will have the same questions. Then you will um, ensure that uh, all the information is given so that the reader understands what your what is the your, your assignment all about. Okay, that's very important. So I also ask you to uh, show the financial projections. Okay, so I told you to have a uh, of, I mean uh, income statement uh, and also the balance sheet and also the cash flow. Okay, so this this is also important to be included in your system. Okay, uh, I I have only almost finished my uh, my session. So if you have any questions, uh, so before you, you ask me any questions, then just uh, fill up the uh, Google form. Okay, uh, uh, fill up the Google form, and then uh, then you you can ask me any questions or doubts or that you have. Okay. So it's quite, quite basic. Huh? So that's why I, I was quite fast. So just follow the uh, headings. And this, uh, once you know what you want to write on, then you first start. Huh? Let's I just go through again. Okay, huh? Once you know what you want to write on, then firstly, I mean, before, this is the last. Okay? Exit summary is the, after you've finished the whole business plan, then when you write your exit summary. It's maybe the first section, but then it's the last uh, item that you write in your any assignment. Okay. After all uh, the all the ass assignment has been finished, then when you will summarize the overall assignment, okay, or, or the business plan in this case. So after that, then you have the in because uh, uh, you have uh, an idea of the business that you want to go into. So because I mentioned that, uh, okay, I'll go to uh, go into the uh, assignment question. Okay. So, okay. So uh, this is the task with the assignment question. So you, uh, you firstly uh, must uh, identify the business opportunity. Uh, so you must describe uh, what, so what is the opportunity that uh, you saw in the environment that you want to that you want to uh, capitalize on? Okay. So then, then after you have found the opportunity, then you will then you have the, an idea to start a new business. Okay. Or then you must explain what is the business all about. Okay. Then also, what do you think is the Critical success factor for your business to be successful. That's all. Okay, that is included in the introduction. So, if you look at the uh, the slide, the uh, first part is talking about the industry. Then after that, the company description. Then, then that's the two part. Uh, that's a that is basically the introduction. So here, you additional thing is uh, that you must must explain about the business opportunity opportunity that you have identified. Then from the business opportunity that you have identified, then we you have an idea to start new business venture. Then after you have uh, described what is the business venture or the uh, company company description, then you also must de describe what is the success factor in your business. Okay, so um, so uh, that's the basic because actually. 
you have based, uh, if you start if you actually uh, follow all the tasks then just uh, do on step by step so the first step then you just identify the uh, business opportunity then from the business opportunity you have uh, identified or a business opportunity uh, business venture that you want to pursue then then you also must explain what is the critical success factor in your business venture in order to be successful that's all then the then you have to do the market analysis okay so so the market analysis uh, here you will go into the uh, this the competitors in the market okay then also uh, the competitors in market and also this uh, uh, the competitors in market and uh, the number of competitors then also the uh, industry then also then uh, the next thing i ask you is uh, the uh, present the marketing plan so i told you i, I explained to you that for the products you must talk about the four piece uh, the product then uh, what is the product about or uh, then uh, describe the product then uh, you also must uh, also uh, uh, have a price range uh, what what do you intend to charge i mean uh, you how what how how much do you intend to sell your product okay then you must have the justification why do you uh, intend to sell at that price uh, then this is uh, the price then you uh, you have the i mean i think so before that you have to place okay that, that means the location so where do you want to operate your business okay so, so this is a uh, important information that is must be included in the marketing plan then uh, then the promotion how do you intend to uh, to let the people know that you have uh, uh, this product no that means uh, how do you want to market your product then also from the marketing then yeah, becomes the sale okay so these are the four four pieces that you must describe in the part of the marketing plan then then you have to uh you have to uh, describe uh, your operational plans okay so so you uh, i told you earlier i prefer that uh, you have I mean, maybe uh, you have a flow chart uh, then yeah, you can show how the uh, the operations will work okay let's say you, know, you get the how do, how let's say uh, you are buying uh, the raw uh, products or if you if you are not creating the own your own product then you must uh, get somebody uh, the supplier of your product then from the supplier product then how uh, may, when you got the input uh, of the supplier then what is the uh, what is the process okay so how when you got the thing how do you uh, how do you distribute it then, okay so all that then you describe i mean and the flow chart is a uh, more like a diagram then you can show can describe the diagram okay that that's a more, more efficient way of uh, describing the operation plans then then that's about all then uh, you must uh, also have a organization chart okay so so organization chart is actually if you make of course yours is uh, maybe uh, a startup okay it, uh, it, it is a sole proprietorship so it, there's no uh, maybe uh, there will not be uh, departments uh, in your structure okay then there may be headings uh, like the finance and admin and all that and then it's not not really a department but it's a small structure then really you, you describe uh, the structure after you have shown the operational uh, organization structure then you must describe the structure and also talk about the key key attributes and skills of the key uh, persons in the management team okay so then this uh, how what uh, what experience or the skills do you have to the uh, the, the uh, key persons in the heading you know, your various uh, sections have okay let's say yeah, about let's say you know, you have the finance manager and then describe uh, the role he plays and uh, how, what yeah, is the what is his goals okay and also they say the human resource then you the human resource is basically involved in the recruitment of your staff or personnel okay 
then uh, okay, the, uh, that's about all. Okay, so but you must uh, actually uh, talk about the uh, the contribution of uh, this key personnel. Okay, then uh, finally uh, you have to add the uh, financial financial uh, protection, uh, which includes a base balance sheet, uh, the income statement, and then also cash flow. So this one, yeah, this uh, financial projection, I told you uh, in the last session, I need at least uh, three years, yeah, because uh, because a startup, you uh, you cannot really make a uh, profit in the startup, and maybe after the second year, then you can see some profit, and the third year is a uh, it's a number of operations, and that means uh, the profits are coming in. So that I need to have at least uh, three years uh, financial projection. Okay, then uh, then after that, you must do a, a funding requirements. So how much of funds are you asking for from the uh, the banks or investors? Okay, so actually, yeah, very uh, it's, if we follow what the requirements are of the tasks uh, of your assignment, uh, you will, will not go wrong. Okay, so we must make sure that you one under each each part. Uh, you must see, let's say. Uh, this one you might you know first thing is maybe you must identify the opportunity so you must uh, make sure that uh, you explain uh, wh why are you intend uh, why are you intending to uh, go into this business so because there's uh, this opportunity opportunity that's available and i want to exploit this uh, opportunity so in order to be successful this is how my come uh, my business must be operated on on so, so that's uh, then you follow uh, that I form my recommend is my recommendation is just follow what the requirements uh, of the uh, certain location and just put in all the information needed. Okay, then is uh, now the marketing market analysis and then the marketing plan and the operational plan then uh, the organization chart and key attributes and skills of the key personnel and financial position then the uh, fund uh, funding requirements. Okay, that's about all. So if so, if you have any questions, huh, you you can ask me. And if you have any ideas, you can also discuss with me. So have you uh, finished the uh, the what call it uh, module leader feedback feedback survey? So just uh, show me uh, in the chat code chat uh, chat message that you finished uh, the uh, module leader evaluation. Then uh, then. If there's no questions, I will end the session. So after I uh, after this, uh, if you have any questions, then then you can post it in the portal, and I will answer. Okay. So it's best uh, that uh, you clarify whatever doubts you have about the assignment. That's a, uh, that's uh, that's the best approach. So if you have an idea, then now now you already have an idea, then you must uh, then uh, I think because the business plan is straightforward, just under must have the different headings, and uh, then firstly uh, we have the introduction, then you must describe uh, the the business opportunity and the business and also the the critical success factor. Okay, then uh, that, that's uh, we must go, go step by step.
Okay. Uh, there's no questions, uh, then uh, I end the session. So you can refer this uh, uh, the business plan outline in the the two uh, ebooks that's available in the portal. Uh, that one is in chapter four, which is uh, the passenger and island. Then one more is uh, uh, in on chapter seven, uh, the outline of the business plan. It, it describes you what is the needed to be included in the business plan. Okay, uh, can I end the session? Yes, you can. Uh, do you understand? Any uh, any doubts? Uh, so far, no. So okay. Far, okay, if you have any doubts, uh, then you can uh, post it uh, in the uh, portal. Then I will answer. Okay, okay uh, good night. Thank you.